Hello, my spooky people. So this is not the video I planned for this week, but I've been having some uh, sourcing material problems. So I'm going to do a quick, probably a one day make for this week in the form of a vintage pattern. This is one of the oldest patterns I own. It is from the 50s. I just want another pair of pants and I kind of want some like secret pants. Um, if you know what the secret pants are, it's just pants that kind of look like a skirt. They're just really poofy and big. And I don't know, I just kind of want a pair of those. So in most of my previous sewing videos, you know that I thrift a lot of my materials and also patterns. And that includes this lovely pattern here. This pattern is, like I said, it's from the 50s and it is in some pretty immaculate condition, considering. I severely hate that the thrift store put their sticker on the actual thing and not put it in a sleeve and then did that because now I can't remove this sticker without ruining this wonderful envelope from the 50s. <laughs> but all of that aside, I do have this wonderful pattern that I'm going to do my absolute best to preserve while I create a new pair of pants. I've also got some fabric here. It'll be probably hanging like this on me. This was also thrifted. I don't know what exactly it is. I've done a few tests with it. It seems like it's a mostly natural material blend. There is a little bit of plastic fiber in here, but I'm okay with that. Again, I thrifted it, so I can't really be super picky about it, but it's a pretty decent weight. It's not super thick, super heavy. I was kind of hoping to do this with like a wool blend or something like that, just to have some like nicer, thicker pants that aren't so thin because a lot of what I make ends up being made out of bed sheets like this shirt that's actually a dress. And unfortunately that means that the material is pretty thin and not very warm. I live in a place where the winter kind of sucks, so I need something a little bit thicker and substantial to wear out and about. Let's go ahead and make these culottes from 1950. So I just wanted to showcase this really adorable pattern. This thing is just in such great shape. The instructions are so clear. The actual pattern pieces are just immaculate and perfect. And I'm just blown away with how amazingly well preserved this pattern is. So this project starts off like all my others. I just gotta trace out the pattern onto the fabric, pin it, and then cut it out. With this pattern being so old, normally I try to preserve the pattern just a bit more than I am here by duplicating it onto like wrapping paper or something, and then using the duplicate as the one that I use to make the thing. But I don't have any wrapping paper, somehow, um, and I also don't have any time to go get some, so I'm just going to be as careful as I can here. And then as soon as it's all traced with the markings included, I'll very carefully fold it back up and place the tissue pattern back into the envelope. To start the construction, I'll begin with the center front and the center back seams. I'm going to do some French seams for all of my inner and construction seams just to make sure the fabric has a fighting chance of staying together as a garment. It really wants to fray and unravel the more I work with it. Next, I need to do the darts on the back panel. I'll fold the fabric following the marks, pin them, and then sew them. When I trim the end thread tails, I will keep that nice and long so that I can ease the tip of the dart very slightly and then tie it by hand to make sure the dart doesn't make my butt pointy. Now I get to make this a little bit more pant shape by sewing up the inseam and the side seams. Again, doing French seams for these. And now I need to unpick a little bit of the center front seam because I did not account for a zipper. Whoops. Once that is done and I only lost a little bit of the fabric from fraying it into oblivion, the instructions told me to grab some of the scrap fabric and cut a facing. It gives some measurements, but I honestly just grabbed what was about the right size and went with it. 
following the instructions. Now I need to attach the zipper to the fly starting with the side that does not have the facing. I will pin the zipper to the side of the fly and then sew it down. Then I will lay the facing side over the zipper, line it up nicely, pin it, and then sew that down as well. I'll also go ahead and trim the extra length of the zipper. Next up is the box pleats. The instructions tell me to align the small circles I traced from the pattern with the larger circles along the waist. Once I have them all pinned, I will sew it down at the very edge of the folds and only about 3 inches down each pleat. Next is the waistband. I will pin one side of the waistband all the way around the waist of the pants and then sew that down. Off camera and because I was honestly getting pretty tired at this point, I'll go ahead and press the bottom hems of each of the legs up by about an inch and a half. Now I have a bunch of hand sewing to do. I'm going to fill stitch the bottom hems of each of the pant legs. Thankfully this fabric is pretty forgiving about any visible stitches from the other side. It pretty much just blends right in, so I was able to be pretty fast about this. Once the legs are done, I will then finish up the waistband the same way and then attach some hooks and bars as the final step. Lastly, I will press and set all of the pleats. happy with how these came out they it came together pretty quick I was not able to follow the instructions in the packet exactly when I started working with this material it just started like disintegrating right in my hand so I had to make the decision to just go ahead and do French seams for all of my interior seams and make sure all of my raw edges were really hidden because of that I wasn't really able to follow the instructions exactly but I was able to follow the ones that got, you know, the pleats and the shape and everything correct. I love them. They make me ridiculously happy. And I think these are going to be a wonderful new staple in my wardrobe. They're really nice and warm. They're wonderful for this cold weather. This went by pretty quick. I think there was only like a couple of things that I had to seam rip for, or maybe one thing that I had to seam rip for. So overall, it went together real fast, which I am very thankful for. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Go ahead and hit that like button. If you liked the video, hit the subscribe button for more videos, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! I planned for it. Be. <laughs> <laughs>